Okay, everybody, here's what you'll need for the steering stabilizer install. Uh, anyway, you get this BDS badge, uh, rivets that help the badge go onto that center plate, uh, two larger U joints that will be onto this center mount. This will be your axle, and this will be uh, where under your, your tie rod will go under here. So those are the two U joints. These four U joints will be used on the passenger and driver's side, uh, like mounts brackets here. So as you can see, they'll go into here like so. So make sure you have passenger driver's side for this. The center bracket will go uh, in the middle where the two shocks will connect to on either side in this way. Uh, also, you need, I don't know the exact sizes on these bolts or uh, nuts or anything, but two larger ones, two smaller ones, uh, four larger bolts, I believe they're 716s, four smaller ones, four medium ones, and then eight smaller ones, and then just a bunch of washers. These uh, eight will go with these, and um, I'm not exactly sure where these all go yet, but I'll kind of throw them on as we do the as we do the, the build here. But anyway, make sure you have all of these things before you get started. Okay, everybody, step one, grab your bigger U-joints, grab the medium-sized bolts, I believe, and grab the washers with the most surface area, so the biggest, like, gap in there that that's going to be able to grab the most and have the most touching the bracket here and also yeah you're going to want to grab the big bracket okay guys we're under the truck uh you're on the passenger side wheel pretty much um so we're going to start off i'm just going to put everything on loosely at first like everything and then from there i'm going to tighten everything up you know so you're going to be on the passenger side of the uh axle we're going to be putting this piece so with these little points sticking up and as you can see right here where it curves that's where the axle is going to sit in and then it's going to come up and it should sit above your tie rod so bam and bam. So I got that bracket up there tentatively. As you can see, bolted on. Got the other one overhanging on the next step. All right, guys, next step. Grab your brackets, your passenger and uh, driver side brackets. The driver side is going to be with the points down it'll point inward and the passenger always sees the other one points down points inward and then you're just going to grab your four small u-joints it's going to be also with the eight little uh nuts the only one that there's eight of same with the washers only washers that there's eight of and they're they fit it so you should be able to figure that out okay guys for your reference that's the driver's wheel so grab your driver's side bracket once again the points down this little thing will point inward you're gonna put it over your, the end of your, I don't know what that, the tie rod, I guess. If I'm wrong, somebody correct me. Okay, anyway, these U joints are gonna go under the tie rod. Holy crap. Well, it's freaking tight around that thing. You have to like hammer them on. I see on other YouTube people were having issues with this. Anyway, from under, upward, and then just put on the washers and nuts on top. And, uh, yeah, I'll be back in a second, let you know how it goes. All right, I've actually decided I'm going to skip ahead. I'm not going to do this yet because I don't know how far, like, left or right they're supposed to be on this tie rod. So, I'm going to just do the middle part first, uh, length them out, and then see where this needs to go, and then put it on from there. So, I'm going to move on to the, uh, shocks now, set those up. All right, everybody got my shock here uh what i did so far i took these little bushing things put the little silver piece shoving them inside like that got these bushings i'm gonna put them in either side they look the same to me so i don't know which one's which just gonna put them in i got my trusty grease 
plumber's grease. I don't know what kind of grease you're supposed to use. I got plumber's grease. That's what I'm going to use. So, here we go. Boom, bam. Got my plumber grease. Got my little bushing. And you're going to find something here to wipe that on with. That's my finger. Boom. Gonna I'll get this heading down here. Don't get this thing too greasy. Alright, I'm just gonna put try it like yay. See if I can get this honker. I'll put the rest on this little rest around the bushing here. Grease her up good. Desperate times call for desperate measures. Using a vice. in people anything on the other side of both ends doing that end also doing other shocks same way get that done follow up with me all right guys i'm gonna move on to the center piece here it's gonna mount up right like that you want your longer of the two bolts along with uh two of the remaining washers you have with the largest nut you got so we're gonna have that after you do your bushings. I just have them sitting there ready to go. So I'm gonna put this on right now. All right, I'm gonna drop this on. Obviously you just wanna wash on each side of your, of your bolt there. Set it up like that. Then you're gonna have to feed your shocks onto each side so let me grab one you want your the main body of the shock to be towards the wheel so i'm going to put this in like that do this one at a time i'm an idiot gotta put it in the freaking thing first Uh-oh, running out of hands. <laughs> All right. Oh, okay. All right, so that's how they're sitting right now. Now I'm able to size up. Okay, so quick update. I tightened on the main bracket in the back. They're uh, 11 16th size nuts. Just so you know, I tried using the um, freaking impact gun. I don't know what the deal was. It wasn't really working, so I just ratcheted them on. And you want it about a quarter inch or less, according to the directions, gap from the plate to the tie rod. Other than that, I tightened on the freaking things for the shocks, but... The issue I was running into is, I think this shock is going to hit, as you can see, right there on my freaking uh, tie rod bar, but we'll see. I got to get the measurement right. It's 20 inches and a quarter or an eighth or something from the center of, I'll show you, but anyway, I'm going to push it in and make my measurements and hopefully the uh i won't have any contact there and it'll fit right so let's see all right guys i kind of set this bracket into place here um it's not really tight or anything and to get that u-joint on it took a little tap from the uh the old mallet but got on pretty good now i gotta measure from the center of this hole to the center of this hole 
and it should apparently be 20 and 1 8 inches so right now I'm sitting at a little less than 20 so I'm gonna push it back a little and until I get it that 20 and 1 8 inch I'll get back to you when it's at that measurement all right I pretty much got this bracket where I want it uh, so now I'm, I'm just gonna put on the other U joint here uh, like I said with the hammer probably got to give it a little bit of a tip there we go and we are in throw the washer and nuts on top but I got the plate on there I'm gonna tighten them down where they are and then try and put that shock on all right well I say I gotta tell you I'm pretty sure I bent the freaking bracket but whatever leaving it where it is now I'm gonna try and push this shock in to where it matches up with that and bolt it on try it Save that dance move for the nightclub. So here we are. Got the pole there. I'm lining up with that. I'm just gonna push it in. Washer, bolt, that damn booger back. I don't know. I think it is, but whatever. I'm gonna push it in. I'm gonna see that. Holy hell! This thing takes a lot. There we go. It's not sliding in. All right, guys. My shock was hitting this bolt. I don't know if it's a legal move, but I loosened it up and rotated it down like that. And I'm going to tighten it back up. It should be good. So don't know what that's for, but I just did it. So if you ever have trouble, just do that. Okay. Take two. I rotated this thing. Should be out of the way, let me give it a shot. Okay, got it in. Tighten this. All right, put the bolt on loose for now, then you gotta do the other side. Okay guys, I got everything on for the ceiling steering stable. So, sorry, I'm tired from putting that shock, moving it back. Anyway, got everything on for the steering stabilizer. And uh, I'm just gonna tighten down the hookup points for the shocks. And I should be rock and roll. I still have to do riveting. I gotta get my paws on a riveting gun. So I'll follow up with that as well. Okay, I'm pretty much done, except I realized I put this bracket on the wrong way. It shouldn't go under like that. It should go over this big bracket. So I'm gonna take this off, put it back on. Three, two, one. And boom, we're back. Uh, Put that bracket on the right way and i also put that bds emblem on uh you just rivet it on pretty easy uh anyway it's actually the next day out here uh going to take it for the first drive and see what the differences are and let you guys know all right first take off with the steering stabilizer on let's see how different it is here Yeah, you definitely got to bring it back a little on the uh, when the wheel's returning to like center. You got to kind of muscle it a little. Not muscle, but bring it physically back. It's not going to really automatically come back, especially the last few degrees of the turn. You got to kind of do yourself. As far as first drive goes, definitely stiffened it up. Not like stiffened it up, but it made it more independent to the road frequency and your tire movement i mean there you can't feel it really at all on the steering wheel i don't really know what it's like before but it feels pretty good uh i'll put fill in the comments today more updates all right guys that pretty much does it for the uh 
BDS install. Uh, the only other comments I had was I was able to get on the highway a little bit and it did take out some of the vibration I was experiencing, but I'm still gonna get that alignment done. But uh, it does help. And the only thing I did notice too was that it does take away from your uh, steering radius just a little bit, just so you guys know, I think. Uh, other than that, that's pretty much it. Thanks for watching. Uh, go check out some of my other videos on the build for this truck. Thanks.